From CTV News Channel, I'm Roger Peterson. Thank you very much for joining us. An update this hour on a major labor dispute out of Ontario. The tentative deal between liquor stores and their workers is back on. It comes after a back and forth dispute over return to work protocol put the agreement on hold overnight. The union has confirmed the ratification vote is happening this weekend. If the deal is agreed to, the two week strike would end on Monday and stores would reopen on Tuesday. Now, earlier this month, more than 9,000 workers walked off the job closing retail outlets across the province. And let's bring in J.P. Hornick, the president of OPSU, the union representing the workers. J.P., thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks so much, Roger. Are you smiling today? Are you not smiling today? What do you think of the deal? You know, I think that the uh, bargaining team, uh, as a result of the incredible incredible solidarity shown by our workers and the outpouring of support by Ontarians around the notion that we needed to protect our public revenues that, you know, support public education and health care um, and to protect good jobs in these communities. They were able to achieve both of those things in this uh, tentative agreement. So I'm extremely proud of our workers uh, and I am uh, excited uh, for the result of the vote. Um, I know that folks have been missing uh, their customers. Sorry, we're just having some technical technical difficulties. Are you cut out a little bit? Uh, if you could just finish that last sentence for us, JP. Thank you. Oh, sure. My apologies. Uh, you know, I said that the um, I'm really proud of the workers, and that uh, I know that they are excited to uh, get back to their customers and communities. And uh, with the the deal was reached last night, and then it went put on hold because of return to work protocol. What was the what was the issue? What was the concern? Uh, well, it was unclear to us what the concerns were because uh, our normal process is to issue the return to work protocol for the employer to respond. Uh, there's normally a little bit of back and forth, and instead of actually making the phone call or having a, a conversation or returning a document, the employer. Uh, decided to file an unfair labor practice. And so we were completely uh, sidelined by that. And so it was, uh, those talks resumed as a result of, I think, uh, cooler heads prevailing at a couple of points. And we were able to resume those discussions and hammer out something that allows the workers to return safely so that consumers can shop safely. Uh, and we have agreed upon protocols now. So glad that resolved. No, you probably can't release details, but uh, were there, what were some of the main sticking points in this negotiation? I know ready-made ready -made cocktails being sold outside of the LCBO was a huge one. Uh, can you touch on anything that might have been resolved amongst those things? Yeah, the, uh, the ready to drink was actually more from the government's perspective than ours. Our, our perspective was there are a million ways to protect that public revenue. And we were concerned about, as the expansion happened, uh, to protect the role of the LCBO in uh, the sale of alcohol so that those public revenues would come back in uh, and be maintained and allowed to grow. So, you know, I think the RTD is a, a distraction of a bit of a red herring rather than getting it in the LCBO. How does this set the tone for any future negotiations for other uh, members of your union? We have several large tables that are coming up uh, that we're negotiating uh, with the government, including the public service, college faculty, college uh, support and part-time support. Uh, and I hope that um, we can actually establish better labor relations and negotiations protocols with the government, although this government seems fairly intent on attacking public service workers. Uh, you know, uh, we are concentrating our efforts on educating and organizing our workers so that they understand how to build power uh, to bring to the table uh, so that they can negotiate the best contracts uh, for themselves so that they can better serve Ontarians. It's important to note that all of our workers support Ontarians by providing the services that they need, and that is our commitment as unionized workers. Uh, but in order to do that, we do need the investment from the government in those services to make sure that those workers can actually do the best jobs uh, that they're there to do.
Okay, JP, thank you very much for the update today. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Roger. JP Hornick is the president of OPSU, the union representing the liquor store workers in Ontario.